Good, Good morning, morning everyone. everyone. Today we are here in Bloomington, Illinois to start our third day on Route 66. And we're here with Carl. Carl's our first, well, stop here. Now he's not on Route 66, he's about a mile or so off, but of course we couldn't resist Carl. How could you not want to see Carl? You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Good morning, Carl. <laughs> He's got a happy ice cream cone. And of course a cheeseburger. Yeah, you're you're not as tall as the other dudes, but yeah, you're 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 pretty. You're you're a good 15. Yeah, he's about 12 to 15 foot tall. The ice cream yes. cone's got a hurt on him. Yeah, he, oh he does, yes. Yes. Of course we're here at Carl's Ice Cream. So we start another day on this journey across the great states of America. Yes. And if you started with Carl, then you know you're doing something right. So we have a pretty ambitious day today. We got a lot going on. We're here at Monte Cal's Pizza. And there's something really interesting about this little pizza place. This was the first and original steak and shake. This is where it all began. Of course, it's no longer a, a steak and shake, but this is where it started right here in this building. The very first steak and shake. Yep. Now their, head, their headquarters is here in Bloomington. They do have a headquarter building downtown, but that's, that's where the Steak and Shake began. Check out this old theater here in Normal. I've actually been referring to Normal and Bloomington as the same area. And it is deja vu again. We were here yesterday and we, we messed up. We need to get our passport stamped. Going to California. <laughs> Got some really cool watercolor paintings and stuff. That's a really, really cool little little gift shop here. So this is Terry from Ryburn, right? Place. So this is a book that you you wrote about your life, right? Yes, uh -huh. And you can find it on Amazon. It's called No Cry Babies Allowed. Past told by by you. So that was your your family when you guys did it back in 1953. So Terry was a lot of fun. She told us the whole story about her family growing up on Route 66, traveling uh, back and forth. And of course, she's an author. Uh, yes, and then we got a magnet, right? I bought a magnet in there. Get I thought a magnet. it was really cool. Get the magnet. Yes, that, that is a cool magnet, yeah. And we did um, get our book stamped. Got our book stamped in there. And we got our stamp. And we're here at Beer yeah. Nuts. Yeah, this is where they make the famous beer nuts, you know, the nut that... Yeah. So it's Saturday and they're they're closed. But that's where it's made. Beer nuts. We're now in McLean. We're here at Dixie Truckers. This is the oldest truck stop in the country. It was built in 1928. The very first truck stop, Don. Now there's really not much to see. I mean it's a normal truck stop. It's actually a, a very active truck stop these days, still prominent seeing that there's an exit here for 55. But uh, we're gonna go in and use the restroom and fill up the, the, the 300, right? Just some of the signs we're gonna come up on. One of the biggest innovations was a restaurant inside of a truck stop, which this became a standard for all truck stops across America. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Even Elvis Presley traveled often on Route 66 from Chicago to Oklahoma. The McLean train station. So this is the original baggage room. You can see that folks have, yeah, they've actually, um, I guess graffitied it, but it's really old. And uh, this train station dates back to the Civil War and all that. Pretty cool. They also got some... <laughs> they actually got HO trains here and looking at all this all the trains makes me want to do a do a train again Don I actually had a train when I was younger and now that seeing all this it's like 
but it's also expensive. And then this here was the women's waiting room. Back in the day, the women would wait in this one, and on the other side, the men would. And of course, they have a ticket window there. What's that? Your kicks on Route 66. People are run by the trees. <laughs> That's cool. That's where it sat when it was up the road, yeah. This is actually pretty cool. A lot of these stations you don't see, like, you know what I mean? It's pretty much intact, or it's got at least some of the things, yeah. This would be this would be the men's side where they would. <laughs> the men's would all. They would all... I, like, I like that. This, this would really be the men's side. Yet again, really nice folks in there. We talked we talked about history of the train station and everything. Definitely a good stop. Dawn. There's a huge muffler man with a hot dog. You see that? Yeah, it's making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, we're hungry too. And we're here in Atlanta, Illinois. What do you think, Dawn? It's awesome. So he's called Bunyan's Statue, and he once was located at the Bunyan's Hot Dogs and Sandwich Shop. But now he's he's located here, and he is super, super tall. Of course, yet again, you can tell he's a muffler man by well, his hand like that. And normally he would hold a, a muffler, or at least that's what they were intended to be. But now they hold pretty much anything. Yeah, he must be, gosh, uh, 20... 20, 20, 20 foot tall, 30 foot tall. Pretty big. He's pretty big, ain't he? And we're slowly making our way up the mother road. All the way to California. Oh wow, the Palms Grill Cafe. I like that mural up there. Palms Grill Cafe. That's a neat neon there. J.H. Judy and Sons Grocers. That dog is holding a tire. I've never seen a statue like that before. The library clock tower is definitely unique sitting in the town center. It's screwed up right now, so I'm working on it. Oh, are you? <laughs> the time's wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So it is it Seth Cl Thomas, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the old one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. There it is. Eight, I think 1904, something there. So the nice gentleman showed us the inside of the clock tower. He's the timekeeper. <laughs> uh, it's actually interesting how it works, like with like pulleys and like um, it, it like like a shaft and all that. Never knew that uh, that it actually keeps time down below, but. The, the clock is just, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So according to this, we are midway between Chicago and St. Louis. We're, we've made it halfway. Yay. Yay. <laughs> what are you doing? Driving down 66. Yeah, I see that. So Atlanta is a really cute little town. Just a nestly little town. They have a car show here in downtown Atlanta. Look at all these cool classics. You know, the Pigeon Forge rod run's going on, but we got, we got our mini rod run going on. That's a really cool Impala. Oh, wow, a Cyclone. It's actually, it's actually sweet, too. They have cars all the way down Route 66. They actually have Route 66 blocked off here. Yeah, that is a nice Mustang. This is what we wanted to cruise Route 66 in, remember? This one's a 65. Yes. Oh yeah, and there's also a nice, nice blue one too. Yeah. The whole town is out here for a chainsaw carving. I guess it's gonna be an eagle when it's finished. Atlanta's been really fun. 
Uh, the folks here are so friendly. Everybody was asking us where we're from, and uh, they're having a little festival here. But now we're on our next town. We're in the town of Lincoln now. They got some kind of ceremony going on over there. Today is September the 11th, 9-11. This is what this is. And they're gonna play the pipes. But I think a lot of folks will remember where they were on 9-11. That's the reason why, you know, we thank the men and, and women in service for protecting us from, you know, those like, type of folks who like to take away our freedoms. We live in a, a great, great country where we can cruise the mother road and it's just beautiful, beautiful. All those folks who lost their lives and, you know. Abe's Caramel Corn Shop? Any place that has Abe and Caramel Corn, you gotta go in and check it out. Those guys are cute. <laughs> Uh, an avocado. Good, how are you? I think we found Al's cousin. <laughs> so we just left Abe's with some caramel corn and cheese corn, and they are awesome in there. They also told us a little about a little bit of history that a lot of folks don't see when we're on 66. We're gonna go check that out. This is an original Carnegie library. So Carnegie, after he put his railroads in towns, uh, he would build a library for them. And this here is a perfect example of that. Postville Courthouse, State Historic Site. Abraham Lincoln practiced law here from 1840 to 1847. This site is located on the original alignment of Route 66. And that's where Abraham Lincoln practiced law. And he even took some of the rock that was under foundation. So he took everything, nails and all, and then reassembled it. Reassembled it right up there. Up in Greenfield Village, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah would visit a friend of his when he was on the circuit. And the family story was that this was Abraham Lincoln's favorite chair when he visited because he was so tall. He yeah, was, I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, he, he was tall. He was tall. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln's chair. Yeah. Oh, definitely not as big as the way they are now these days, you know. Yeah, so you had your public lawyers, probably over here, Six jurors. jurors. Six jurors over there. Judge. Very nice folks in there. They showed us around. This is not the original building. Of course, the original is up in Greenfield Village in Detroit. They actually took it piece by piece down and moved it to Detroit. Henry Ford actually bought it. So, um, But it was really cool to see what it was like. But this is actually the spot where it sat when Abraham Lincoln was here. We're still in Lincoln, Illinois, and check out this. <laughs> it's an old old service station. That was really cool. Well, it's got a little gift shop, and check out the, the old gas pumps, Don. Aren't they cool? It's called Corner Garage Antiques and Collectibles. It's in a it's in a little, an old gas station. Really unique little little store. Oh wow, look at those old bubblegum machines up there. Yeah. Definitely a lot of 
old memorabilia here. All the old oil cans. My dad, my dad actually had one of those. Uh, yeah, yeah, to put put it in lighters and stuff. Yes. He's no. cute, Will. Who's cute? This um, oh, beer guy with the ashtray on his head. He's <laughs> <laughs> cute. Yeah. Oh, there's a, a big boy piggy bank from 1973. Your uncle had one like that, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look at the old uh, Sinclair oil cans and stuff oh wow I'd actually like to have that 600 bucks and definitely have to travel with it across the country and people like Donald Duck and knock out for winter yeah yeah of course these old coin bank banks are really cool there old, old cast iron uh, <laughs> that guy there uh, He's scary. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Ah! Ew! It's nothing. Well, it's coming on Halloween. Nothing to lose your head over, huh? Yep. I like that one too. Remember Lincoln Logs? <laughs> We're in Lincoln. Get it? Lincoln, Lincoln Logs? Logs. The world's largest covered wagon. It's huge. You see that? <laughs> Yeah, I see him, and it looks like Abraham Lincoln's on Yes! Abraham Lincoln is riding on... <laughs> wow, and he's reading a looks book. Looks like he's taking a selfie. Is it a book? Yeah, he's reading a book. Oh. <laughs> well, let's check this out. They call this the rail splitter. It is the world's largest covered wagon. Old Honest Abe up there. He must be at least oh, 15 foot tall. And that wagon must be at least almost 30 foot tall altogether. We found it. Yes. The world's largest covered wagon. Abraham Lincoln on. <laughs> uh, a lot of cool roadside uh, attractions. Little, you know, get you to stop. You know, slow down a little. And we're here at the mill on 66. Look at that, Dawn. <laughs> you oh, see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, quite interesting. The mill opened in 1929. The original alignment of Route 66, it became famous for a sandwich stand and then a bar restaurant. The mill is now being restored as a museum. Everybody knew Ernie and the pig hip is famous. Pig hip sandwich. So this talks a little bit about that. It's a little bit about the pig hip and yeah. yeah. So some of these things are original, original pieces from the pig hip that were there, and that's what it looked like back in the day. Back in the day, oh wow. Yeah, and he lived in a house. The house was over here, and the house is still there, and the motel is still there. The motel was actually run by his sister, um, and then his brother owned the service station in the middle, opened in the like 1937, 38, and then he ran the restaurant. And then after he closed the restaurant, it was a museum for a while. Huh. This one here, this is the, the sign that was on the building. That, that was on the building itself. Yeah. The building's not there, but the yeah. neon so is still this there. This is what the building looked like here before it actually, right here. Oh, okay. So that's what it looks like before it got torn down. And then yeah. the tunnels was built. Yeah, out in front of the mill, the sign that was on that post out there. Um, the, the Huffmans basically created this sandwich, the schnitzel sandwich. And it looked like this. It was famous throughout. Um, for generations actually and there was about four or five generations that owned um, that were that worked here at it looks like a giant piece of fish it's actually a giant piece yeah of it's, pork. it's a pork <laughs> oh, yeah, it's we've had that before yeah, and yeah. there's a couple from <laughs> it's, very good in it's an yeah. Illinois thing actually, it actually was it's an Illinois here, like the home of the schnitzel the, like yeah. this recipe yeah. was very unique I mean it's an Austrian thing but actually the way in which they manipulated it and created this new recipe and new sauce and everything. Um, down at the end of the road, the ghost that said, do not open. And if you opened it, a really loud siren would go off. And it still works. <laughs> oh, wow. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really loud. Siren. So it's just another one of his kind of. Complete... So he was a jokester, kind oh, of, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's definitely quite a character. And that's the original bar here. Wow. Check that guy out. I don't know what to make of him, but he looks. Looks really cool. <laughs> I got some old gas and. Oh, they got a coach. 
Oh yeah, they got a couch like yours. That one's there of the of the mill itself. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. yeah. Really kind of get the the feel of the restaurant. Really cool museum in there. Talk about the history of Lincoln and of course Route 66. Uh, this was actually in really bad shape back in 2006. Of course, I got a, a Bob a Walmeyer uh, print, a lithograph, and uh, we got our book stamped. We got our book stamped okay. here because. This is a this is a passport location. You can also get it downtown at the historical museum because technically and we got a free keychain <laughs> and a keychain. Uh, this is actually now owned by the historic museum uh, in in town. Uh, so yes, and it's um they suggest ten dollars donation. Uh, of course, we did that to preserve this beautiful structure. And that's the iconic Tropics sign, coffee shop, and dining room. Hmm, it's actually pretty cool. They say, they say it lights up at night. And just like she said in the museum, the restaurant used to sit where this McDonald's is now. We're here in Broadwell, and this is the home of the Pig Hip. Of course, the restaurant's not there no more. The original house that they lived in is, but the, the restaurant is long gone. I guess this was a great spot for those travelers. A little bit of Route 66 that has disappeared. This hotel has seen better days, for sure. We're just passing through the town of Elkhart. And it's a cute little town, it really is. Love this, this mural here. But the town is just cute as a button. I know that building there looks like they're gonna renovate it, but it's filled full of antique shops and definitely a little town America. We're here in Williamsville and they got this old gas station. Check that out, an old Ford pickup and an old Chevy over there. I love them, them gas pumps there. Yeah, she's, she's an old gas station. Great Texaco sign, mobile gas. But over here they have a Sinclair dinosaur. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, well, hello, Mr. Sinclair Dinosaur. How are you doing? Yeah, he's he's aluminum. And then, uh, yeah, cool little little gas station. And just a few miles off of 66 is where the tomb of Abraham Lincoln is. We're now here in Springfield, Illinois, and one of the most famous well, presidents is buried here in Springfield, Abraham Lincoln. We're gonna go in and show you his magnificent, uh, actually burial chamber in there. But first we gotta go rub Lincoln's nose. It's kind of like, um, for good luck for. All right, Don, well, there's Abraham Lincoln. and. Are you touching it? Well, you gotta, you gotta reach up and and rub his nose. There you go. You can tell everybody. His nose rubs. has been poor, poor <laughs> Lincoln. Lots of colors over the years. Yeah, poor Lincoln. Everybody just comes here to touch his <laughs> nose. Sorry. You also gotta wear a mask inside um, buildings, and of course that's a building. Wow, it's actually huge. Now I know that Abraham Lincoln was actually buried in a normal spot somewhere in this cemetery out back. And this wasn't finished until many, many, many years after his death. But, I, good. Definitely love all the bronze statues. Lincoln and the Ranger. Hmm. Cool. And I think through here is, yep, there it is. It's, he's actually inside, uh, inside that. Now he belongs to the ages. 
No, it's actually 10 feet below. And here we are at the cozy drive-in for some cozy dogs. The Cozy Dog Drive-In, Springfield, Illinois. Family owned and operated since 1950, home of the famous hot dog on a stick. And we're heading to the famous Cozy Dog. Check out all the merchandise. They actually have some cozy dog <laughs> plushes over there. Oh, look, they're all cute. Here's their t-shirts here. What is the cozy dog known for? What made them famous? The corn dog. This is where the corn dog began, yes. Are you excited to have the... Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to try I it. mean, if you're going to do a corn dog, you want to do where it began, right? Mm -hmm. And here they are, the famous, well, cozy dogs, or corn dogs, what everybody else would, would call them. This is where they began, right here. So the story goes that he dipped it in, in some batter and just deep fried them up. We also got a chili dog to share and, and some fries. What do you think about that? Looks good. The famous corn dog. Mm. Is, it, is it the best you ever had? It's hard to tell because it's so hot. But it is good. Just imagine this little hole in the wall created this thing that we all come to love. The cozy dog or corn dog. It is really good. Yeah. Corn dog. <laughs> I like mustard. On my corn dog. The fries are pretty good. It's almost like a fair fry. Here is that chili cheese dog. Yeah, not too bad. So, what did you think about Cozy Dog? It was at the home of the original corn dog. It was okay. Yeah, it was good. It, you know, it, it I guess was, I'm just not a corn dog person. And I'm not, I mean, I'm like a fair corn dog. I don't know. I mean, it was good. It was good. The french fries reminded you of the fair. The french fries were really good. Yes. The corn dog, it was good. I, did, I guess the thing about the corn dog is I thought it would be like stellar. But it's just like a corn dog. But then, then again, how would we have corn dogs if, you know what I'm saying? So it makes sense, right? Uh, but the food was really good in there. The fries were real good. Uh, the folks in there were really super friendly. And I actually got two cozy dogs. <laughs> We've been buying probably too many trinkets. Along the way. But he'll look good up there, you know, on the back shelf of the studio, you know. We'll have him sit in the couch that you just bought, <laughs> something like that. So we checked into a La Quinta here in Springfield. And uh, we had a great day, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we've seen a lot. Um, Lincoln's Tomb. We got Cozy Dog. Uh, we, uh, gas stations galore. Uh, yes, there's definitely a lot to do. We had a jammed, packed day. Uh, so yes, we're here in Springfield. Uh, so what was your favorite part today, Don? Just being on the road, seeing out everything you can see. Yeah, yeah. And, and Carl with the ice cream cone. Oh, you like Carl? Yeah, yeah. It started the day out with Carl. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, it's been, folks have been so nice out here. Everybody run into has uh, just been just, just really great, you know. Folks, that's going to do it for today. Here on the Mother Road, we will be heading towards St. Louis in the morning. We love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.